Today we are going to check out a brand new shopping mall in Hong Kong called K11 Muse. Muse means a muse by the sea, and it's located in Kowloon Chim Sa Chui. It just opened on August of 2019, and it took 10 whole years to build. It is the last part of a 2.6 billion US dollar project. The theme of the mall is art, culture, technology, and sustainability. It's a collaborative effort of around 100 architects, artists, craftsmen, conservationists, and designers. The vision of the creator of this mall is that he wants to make this mall look like a sparkling galaxy. I think he achieved it. There are actually around 1,800 light bulbs to create this effect. Sustainability is a big part of this mall. You actually notice a lot of greenery everywhere from the outside of the mall to the inside of the mall. It actually has the world's largest green walls wrapping its facade with over 50,000 square feet covered in live foliage. That's about 18 tennis courts. At the rooftop, they also have the Nature Discovery Park, which is Hong Kong's first biodiversity museum and park. They have tours and classes where people can learn more about sustainability. The K11 Museum Mall is directly connected to the MTR system, which is the subway in Hong Kong, so it's super convenient. They also have parking here. If you spend over 300 Hong Kong dollars, which is around 59 US dollars, you can have two hours of free parking. Basement 2 is where the food court and a lot of eateries are located. They also have a lot of interesting restaurants and cafes all over the mall such as Afternoon Tea which is a Japanese home decor store turned cafe featuring customizable afternoon tea sets and ingredients freshly flown from Japan. London millennial favorite FO Bar which is an all day diner and brunch hotspot dedicated to avocado. Takano Ramen has its first restaurant here in Hong Kong, which is a Tokyo Michelin favorite for four years. Kiki Noodle Bar, a cult favorite Taiwanese noodle and bubble tea brand. Five Guys, which is a popular American fast food chain. This is the very first one on the Kowloon side. Cheddarbox Cafe by Mandarin Orchard Singapore with their acclaimed Mandarin Chicken Rice. They have their first Fortnum & Mason's flagship store in Hong Kong, which is an 18th century department store known for their gourmet roasteries from the UK. They have a retail and restaurant space here spanning 7,000 square feet. They also have one of my favorite pancake places from Japan called Shiawase Pancake or Happy Pancake. Click here for the video on Shiawase Pancake in Tokyo. This mall is super kids friendly. They have a lot of activities for kids such as the Donut Playhouse, 
This you have to get tickets for. They have the donut cafe, etc. They also have a lot of free tours, such as the architecture tour, the furniture tour, the muse tour, etc. for kids. They also have a nine meter peacock slide in the playground outside. This is certainly a great place for kids. As mentioned before, art is an important part of this mall. This is actually an art installation. It's supposed to be a mini golf. This fuchsia polar bear is by Paola Pif. This is by Kelvin Marcus. There is plenty of art, art installations inside and outside of the mall. They also have an elaborate reward system in which you can accumulate K dollars when you spend money at the mall. This is where technology comes in. You can download an app and collect K dollars. You can use the K dollars to exchange for gifts and vouchers. There are also many other uses, as well as tickets to their art and cultural events, such as art exhibition and performances. They also have a lot of different types of classes and workshops, such as cooking class, flower arrangement, music, drawing, perfume workshops, beauty classes, etc. Speaking of beauty, the entire B1 floor is dedicated to just that. They have the largest retail space in town for British perfumery house, Penhaligans, the latest dedicated Tom Ford beauty shop in Hong Kong, the second retail space for Miller Harris, which is a London-born fragrance house, the first retail space dedicated to Serge Luttons, a French perfume brand. The first standalone Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wonderland in Hong Kong. Polish natural soap brand Yope's first retail store. And the first dedicated Givenchy Beauty Boutique. When it comes to fashion, this mall certainly have a lot of choices. They have the new MoMA Design Store Hong Kong spanning over 6,000 square feet. It's not just the first MoMA store in Greater China, but also the largest museum quality design store in Asia. They have Le Col School of Jewelry Arts by Maison Van Cleef and Arpels, opening its first outpost outside of Paris. Yoji Yamamoto's debut flagship store in Greater China, sized at over 2,000 square feet. The largest Loewe store in Hong Kong. Koss has its largest retail branch in Hong Kong. The largest gentle monster shop in Hong Kong. Milan's romantic boho chic brand Twin Set's first Hong Kong branch. Italian streetwear label GCDS first store in Greater China. Mackage, which is a Canadian outerwear brand's first Asia flagship store. Italian sneaker brand Golden Goose's first independent store in Hong Kong. They also have a six-pack station, which is an innovative new fitness training center from Dokbongi. K11 Art House, which is the new flagship UA Cinemas Theater featuring the very first IMAX laser projection system. They also have a lot of wireless charging stations across the mall. Everywhere you go, including the parking lot, you will hear music. There's also a floral scent across the mall. I thought that it was fine. My friend thought that it was a little bit too strong. Since we're here, might as well try out one of their cafes. This one is called Velo. We chose it because it seems quite quiet. Since it's around tea time, might as well try one of their delightful afternoon tea set for one and a selection of cake plus tea or coffee. We went for the Earl Grey tea. The waitress said their signature cake is the taro cake, but we decided to order the Oreo cake instead. The most important aspect of a cake for me is moisture. I like really soft and moist cake. So this cake is actually pretty moist. We're satisfied about that. However, the cream was a little bit on the heavy side. 
and the Oreo flavor did not come through. So it's time for our afternoon tea set for one person. The food was really just mediocre, the macaron was kind of hard, and the mandoline was also dry. Overall, I like this mall a lot. I think this is one of the most thoughtful, interactive, and interesting malls in Hong Kong right now. I think everybody should visit it. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and also please continue to enjoy the rest of the video.